What's up driving intelligence community? Well, I've finally gotten the transmission done, rebuilt, installed, took it out for a test drive. I had the flashing light, the overdrive light on the column, and I also got a P0750. Really frustrating, wasn't shifting properly. P0750 is a solenoid A issue. It's the one, two shift problem. And I've looked all over the internet for that, and I'm gonna show you what I found from uh, my investigation into this issue. I was pretty sure it was electrical based on the code, the DTC, Diagnostic Trouble Code. So I pulled the pan off and I pulled the solenoid. Now, fortunately, I had a couple other solenoids to look at. It's the du dual solenoid pack, A and B. You can see where it's missing right up here. That's the, what's remaining right there is the torque converter control solenoid. I'm gonna take you over to the bench and show you what I found out. So my initial assumption was that it's one of two issues. The electrical strap that goes from the bus on the, uh, coming from the PCM or the ECM, the computer of the vehicle, to each of the three solenoids, the electronic pressure control solenoid, the, uh, the torque converter control solenoid, and the A and B solenoid pack, which is right here. Now this is the one I just took out. This is a brand new unit I got, uh, bought it with the kit. You'll see right there is the overhaul kit for the 4R70W. The first thing I did was I made sure I had continuity, and I'm gonna actually do a better picture of this as part of this video. Uh, maybe I can actually take a snapshot and integrate it into this. Anyway, I found out that I had full continuity on this. Sometimes these pins you'll find uh, actually spread out and they don't make good contact. But I took the old solenoid I knew was good. I checked continuity across the pins. This is the good one. This is the one I just took out. You can see the pins there. I was supposed to get 26 ohms from common to each of the solenoid connections. This indicated this one was good, but I got no ohms going from this, the common to the A setting, the middle pin. So it told me that out of the box, this is a brand new solenoid, it failed. So I'm gonna go over a couple other ways to check this, or maybe one other way to check this, but at least I know that there's nothing wrong internal to the transmission. This is what was caused in my P0750 code and my overdrive light to flash on the shifter on the column. Thought I'd go over this little drawing that I made. So uh, take a snapshot of this for your own purposes. And here you can see the case connector and I've marked this A, B, C, D, E, F, G corresponding to these pins. And then I did a continuity check between each one. You'll see here, I think this is the temperature sensor. There's a, uh, what it looks like is a resistor right here that changes the current going through this strap and these two here pin out to these two. So they checked well and that's 25 ohms and I checked this with another case connector and it, uh, it has the same ohm reading. G is common for all these three solenoids here. So you can see G, G, G. And then the rest of these are the signal from the, uh, the ECU telling each of these solenoids to activate. So I checked again all the continuity. It's all actually pretty good. And then the other thing I did just to make sure that I had continuity once I put this all together again is I took a little pick and I closed these contacts a little bit, called a couple experts and they said sometimes these contacts open up uh, preventing continuity. So I've tightened them up a little bit. You don't want to tighten them up too much to make sure that they contact properly on the pins on the various solenoids. Now with that snapshot of the diagram, which you can do before taking the pan off to get to all this, you can check the connector. Here you can see it coming through the case and there is the connector right there. If you can get to that using the pin out that I just showed you, you can check each of these to see if you've got continuity through the solenoid or the proper resistance. So uh, that makes things a lot easier and having to take everything apart, get all your uh, transmission fluid out and finding out there was nothing wrong inside. Fortunately for me, it was the solenoid pack, brand new solenoid pack. I'm gonna replace it now and get this truck on the road. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. I'd love to hear from you what you think of this in the comments section, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.